Map number one, the pick of the Thieves. They'll be starting off on the T side here. And remember that map disadvantage. Justin, JKS, Savage, leading the way off the back of the flash from Azza. We'll be poking and prodding for information. And on the other side of things will be Art. He spots up one. Little tickle of damage done, but dropping on back. Let's have a quick little look at the utility. Thieves have actually invested heavily here. We have two smokes, two HEs, three flashbangs, and a Molotov. And, well, what you're seeing right here on the pistol round is exactly what you'll see on those gun rounds. There's no rush for them to take a ramp control. They like to sit back here in the fork room, wait out that early utility, and then pounce when the coast is a little bit safer. Well, Finney was a bit of a danger with that pistol. I think it was on Inferno. We saw him come into his own, but he gets the first bit of information, fair bit of contact, but not fault. Gets that smoke to hand, doesn't feel the need to commit to it just yet, and rightly so. It looks like the Thieves are definitely kind of taking their time here, trying to maybe draw out any of the utility that the CTs may have, and they still have held on to it. Vinny and Art both themselves do have smokes, and one the flash and one a nade, so this could be hard work for them going forward. If they can set up for this execute here, they can smoke off over towards the Jenny positions. A Molotov on top of construction to force anyone back. It's actually over towards Quad. Jacob's found the entry. That's big. All right, Jacob. Let's see if he can keep this one going, though. Caserato's there. The flash was well positioned. Keeps him off the peak, but he comes right back in. Already Jacob down. The bomb's going to be planted. Two of the T's trying to keep him safe. A little late nade could do some work. They're all over by the Jennies. That's a nice nade. Pepper's well enough. Azza now takes the fight, wins it, looks for more, does go down. We're down to a 3v3. No kit that I see right now for the CTs. Not sure if there's one on the floor. I don't believe so. And Liaz could do with some help here. Already having to fall away a touch. CT side taking over the bomb side. There it is, locking it down. It's just Vinny now in a 1v3. Pistol to hand, no way to draw out gratisfaction or remove that final factor. This one looks sewn up. It looks like the Thieves have pulled off that initial plan pretty well. The heist is completed. Very well done. Bit of a team ace on that too. Every single one getting a kill. Yeah, that was good stuff. There's no rush from the Thieves and you can see exactly why. The aggression from Fury is counted upon by every single team out there. But if you can't control it, if you can't contain it, you're going to find yourself in a world of hurt. And this slower approach, that's one way to deal with it. Aren't getting caught in limbo with that initial smoke being dipped on through. And the, fra the frags fell in the favor of the thieves. Now continuing to keep that pace on up. I think we'll see the... F Oh, it will be an eco. It's a mid rush coming on through. Liaz has a lot of work here. Mac 10 in hand. There's three more in front of him. He's able to... Up ladder. Oh, Eyes up. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? Hello? Oh, that's a lot of money. That is a great deal of money. A gun getting... <laughs> Nabbed away for old Azza. I mean, he got two. Can't yeah. feel too bad. And we still at least have the, you know, the big rifles out. So they lost the SMGs. It's not the end of that. That's a problem well, now. A That's problem. a problem. Here we go. Suddenly it gets a little bit too costly. Vinny's down to three HP, sure. JKS should keep this safe at all costs. I don't see how he loses this. But they could maybe make it more costly. I don't know. I, I, one bullet, maybe two from these guns should get it done. Gratisfaction looking a little bit pressured here. Forced away, but JKS, cool, calm, collected. One, two, good night, thank you. Got a little scary on that Jacob kill. Yeah, but look at Vinny's money, 7,200. <laughs> that means they're going to have the AWP available. He can drop that over to Henny. Now, one of the key factors here on the CT side, offense, and I say offense, because the way that Fury I like to play over towards this ramp can be quite aggressive. We get Art and... Henny set up with AWPs over towards A. They like to take some fights. Now, on the first gun run, they'll only be able to afford that one. But keep your eyes out for how they approach this A ramp defense. The Thieves will just tuck on in and normally take their time. We've seen Jacob try and play around those smokes, use them as one ways in his advantage before. Oh, and they've actually gone... What is happening mm. here? What is this? Is it... Okay, I have what no... Are we in for? What, are, what are we seeing? Where's Yuri off to? <gasps> what are we seeing? Yuri, that's filthy. Where is he? Wait, is he boosted? He's Where... just up there. This oh. I have not seen before, ladies and gentlemen. I have not seen this before. And it's not even been noted yet. He could do this again if necessary. Okay, so this they're almost going to play it in, right? So our going down could almost encourage this ramp play. You could leave him here. He's actually going to back away from it, though. Gets good chunks of damage towards gratisfaction. It looks like this round's wrapped up. Henny's had his way with it. But that was incredibly exciting. A whole new way to approach that. Yeah, we need to see how that plays into this game. I don't know if I've had my eyes closed on Reddit recently or what, but I haven't seen that before, and I consider myself someone who loves a bit of vertigo. Now, Vinny's going to mop up these last two kills. Molotov comes in. He's going to have to swing here. JKS to deal with it. He will. Hold on. Oh, this might get interesting. Yeah, let's let's take a second. We've got mollies. We still have a flash. JKS is healthy. The problem is that gratisfaction is one HP. So if this bomb goes down and he gets a safe post plant somewhere a bit cheeky, maybe a one and done, but that's the best you can hope for, he's going to play on ramp for this. JKS goes around. Let's keep our eyes on the man. 
who had that phenomenal spray. And playing back in with an AWP, they do at least have a smoke. I don't see a kit, though. So again, time is going to be a factor. JKS has a look on the flash, but nothing too much. Checking towards that headshot angle. Okay, Serato, going to be noted. Same angle. Oh. Okay, Serato, blind, it doesn't matter. Takes out JKS, same angle, same line. I need to get Rush on the line here, Lauren. I'm sorry, Rush, up, have you seen up. that before? I have never seen anyone boost up there, Can ever. you show us it again, Rush? Yeah, I mean, I hope, I'm hoping they're going to do it too again, but they, he was, like, up on here. Yeah, he was on, like, the rafters. I've never saw. seen this before. That's crazy. Oh. So this is the double that we missed things <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, ignore that, ignore no, that. No, no, that's fine. Look, at this triple boost here, crazy. ladies and gentlemen, this could actually be game-changing. Game breaking to the point where if the Thieves aren't ready for that type of a play, well, they're not going to be ready for that type well, of a play. They didn't see it last round either. No, and look... I don't. That might not be, you know, as instrumental as I think it is. It's just the fact that we're still seeing innovation coming through. I want to see through. what, like, how much that changes when you see the smokes there. Can There's they just see? There's no way you're looking it? that high. You're never gonna have your pre-fire that high. Oh, never. You think about the oh, angles man. already on that ramp. You've got like, you know, you've got like three or four different elevations to potentially look at already. Jeez. Throw in that bad boy. Just put that in as the power play. I don't even need to see any kills. Oh, we're excited by a three-man boost. Goddamn. All right. But this is the finals. You might as well bring out yeah, bring all, all out. these like geeky stuff that you've been up to. This is great. Shows the Fury have been doing their homework for sure. Well, Thieves have taken a pause here, and they've actually gone for the four spy. So let's take a look how this one's trending. Jacob has a Galil armor behind it, a little bit of utility. Uh, Galil's for JKS and Liaz as well. Gratis Faction and Azra on those Tech 9s, but they have plenty to go for a set piece. And it looks like early Molotov from Liaz to stop mid-aggression or lock the CTs in. And Henny's back with the AWP over towards this side of things. I was speaking wonders of what he can do over towards A, but they think he'll be better over towards middle. And here they go again. Let's yeah. see how it works. Okay. It's not, it, it, it actually isn't as hard as I thought it was. Okay, well, the attack's over towards B, so we might not but see... look it. what it does. It, they can solo A. Exactly. Yeah, they're able to solo the A bombs like once they get that going, and that is, is just insane to see. Uh, over towards the B side of things. K Serato spots up a couple here. Nades are through and the kills are good. Jacob's yeah. found one over towards middle. The Tech Nine of Grant's done some work, but they have to deal with Henny. And, and the rest of the team are here so quick because they've been able to leave that player behind. He's mopping them up. We are down to the Galils, so there's still a bit of danger. Jacob's having a bit of a warm up this round, so maybe there's more to be found. But a weird kind of switch in position as Yuri's got them locked in. R tries to play it out, doesn't get the shot he wants, and suddenly it's just Yuri. A 1v2. Oh. Gives them a parting gift of the nade, and now the bomb's in the hands of Jake, and what does he have left? One flash in the Galil. Yuri does have the kit as well, so he can bide his time. Try to spot that cross, sees Jake. Creeping back in, Yuri. I'd have done him now. Yeah. Oh, nicely done, playing it back in. That is a dance and a half. It's a dangerous one, too. Yeah, that sliver gap that was being taken there from Yuri, it's the finest of margin. You see Jake actually exploit that as he knows he has to push forward at some point. Back, forth, and back again. Able to pick up a very important round here. And this is what I'm talking about with Henny in the mid to late rounds. His impact, two big kills. This is almost the showstopper over towards the B side of things. The multi-frags is what they need to make sure so they're shutting down. Once you know where Henny is, take him out of the equation. And the Thieves can potentially run away with a couple more. They've forced Furia down to just the pistols. Now, I wouldn't be wasting that boost on an eco round like this, let me tell you. Wait until you have a very important gun round coming up. If Furia want to run that time and time again and they're not getting contact, that's great. Jacob with another entry frag. If he's on one today, he's been the missing factor for the Thieves. A couple of quick other notes while we have this eco on the board. Leading the tournament so far, tied with Naf, is Henny for clutches. That's 1vx situations, 15 to his name. But guess who's coming in at number two, or I suppose three if we have two individuals tied for first? It'll be Liaz. He's got 12. So, uh... Hold on. Snapping bad. Turtle. That's a rifle loss, too. That, that's... The only AK they had out. Yeah, he was a bit forward. They're going to try and grab this. They might get it. So Henny's picked it on up. Grats Molotov, it's a late on the uh, on the drop. So all four will be over towards this A side of things from Furia. They're going to push forward, but the attack from the Thieves is coming in over towards B. So as you can see, everybody on the lower level right now, the chase and hunt is <laughs> on. Oh, that Molly's just going to miss. It won't matter. But if you are that of Fury, you want to try and grab whatever weaponry you can away from the Thieves, whether it's an upgrade you want to take into the next round, or it's just financial damage that you want to do going forward into round number six. You can see just setting on up. We can actually get a chance to take a pause. God, this is exciting. I, I, love, I love the fact that, you know... <laughs> the new boost, Lauren. I can't get over it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just seeing this sort of, like, creativity on a map like Vertigo as well, that we haven't seen truly kind of, you know, gone through and worked out. That's bloody beautiful. Oof. Okay, so this one should be wrapped up. They do get the rifle. 
Vinny doing some little uh, snapping turtle work. But they've got to be careful on the way out here. Henny could potentially punish them more than they'd like. That's one. They found the rifle now. They did lose Liaz there, but he did have the Mag-10, so it's not the worst thing. That could get filtered back. Okay. If we just want to keep in mind as well here that a lot of the B attacks have come in in the early stages for the Thieves. So pistol round, they're able to get over there on the uh, force by round that they won, and then this round here against the Eco, also finishing towards B. And the reason I bring that up is if they want to change that pace at any point and start attacking A on a more frequent basis, that means there might be a lighter defense. Now, Art's kept the MAC-10. Normally speaks of aggression. There's an org out for Vinny, no AWP. So that double AWP prong that Used I'm talking again? about. Yeah, they're just going for it time and time again, and it They've makes sense. They've refined this too. Is it better with the org? I wonder if there's a bit more to oh. it. Oh, failed at that time. This is on a timer as well, so they're very lucky they're not getting spammed here. Oh, boys, they're going to have to cancel oh. it this time round. We really want to see that come into play just for the nerdiness factor. Now they're posted up pretty close. I mean, they're committed arts on the way. <laughs> Full sends down, but it's Yuri who's the problem. Yuri's still here playing around the smoke over towards construction. You can see the damage being done. Being held at the very start. Grabs Faction going to try and get that upgrade. Oh. Punish Vinny on the way out. Not bad. This is brawly between these two, though. Yeah, and I think that was just a factor of Fury not being able to land that boost. They were in limbo. Yuri forcing forward again, has a chance. Tickled by the Flames, takes down Grant. Two on three situation. The last two members, Liaz and JKS, over towards B. If they could deal with Kesarado, I think he saw over the top of that smoke, but JKS should have the better of him, and he does. Only a smoke and a molly to work with in the hands of Liaz. Henny, he's, he's on the quick. scene. Yeah, he's, he's got it real fast, and the spray's real good. Nicely done by Henny, making there just in time. Maybe a little bit too quick for the 100 Thieves to do much about. Yeah, you can see both of them caught in transition. Nades out. Anything but the weapons in hands. And Fury will get their second round on the board. This is Yuri just spamming down range. A lot of damage <laughs> through the smoke. You love a good old freebie. And the multi-kill from Henny again. Such a danger man, Henny. And I mentioned before, we've got the three highest rated players from ESL Pro League North America in the server here today. First is Henny, second is JKS, third is that of Yuri. And it's the Eco. It could be a bit of a mincing here from Art in middle. He's grabbed one, make that four. <laughs> be on for the A series. JKS just coming through in the last moments. P2K, it comes on out and JKS goes down. So Art with a lovely stat padding. Ace there against the Eco of the Thieves. That's gonna get the third round on the board for Furious. Scoreline currently sitting at four to three in favor of the majority Aussie squad. And they'll be looking at getting a buyout now as Jacob, he is a little bit strapped for cash, only 3,500 for him. Everybody else will give you how to get an AK up or a Galil with full utility. But taking another pause, and this is early stages to be doing so. Here's this replay again. So through the molly, easy as you like. These are the type of kills everybody loves, having they the Glocks running at you. And it's good when teams, you know, we've we've been casting a lot of European Counter-Strike where we see the slow stuff. You know, we're talking about, okay, you know, they're waiting out the utility, they're taking their time, they're playing the percentages. Well, the Thieves, they couldn't be bothered with the percentages right there. Just wanted to see if they could overwhelm in middle. Now, pause has concluded. Freeze time, 10 seconds remaining. Let's see what the buy looks like on the side of the Thieves here. Just showing you the scores on the doors. And there it is. So Jake and will have that Galil as is opted for the AK instead of a full kit of utility. The more potent weaponry in the uh, in-game leader's hands. He's been having a bit of a banger in the last couple of days, been a key factor and was a key factor last time these two teams met where the Thieves did topple Furia in the regular season. Looks like they want to set up for this boost again, Lauren. It's just a whole new look. I was really just worried about these double orbs of Art and Henny being able to smash them down range, but now this just change up is like you said, look at this. It's one man holding A. So nice. And he has to be on for a multi. You, like The reason I say that is when the kill initial kill comes in, the thieves are not going are to know how to that? call that. It's like, oh, he's up. I've never seen it. Like, they are going to be shell-shocked from this boost. This is not... I'm not going to say map-breaking by any means. Once it's figured out, it's figured out. But this is gnarly stuff to be they've seeing. they this off, so they feel watch safe. Watch this. Here we go, sees the feet. He's going to have, have no kill. idea. They Where's can't call the this. Whoa, Gratis, look at this! Oh my god, Yuri, that's perfect. This boost is nuts. The bomb's down. Now they're aware of it, though. But again, how do you call this? What do you do about this? I guess early utility lob towards it will stop the boost, but they're gonna have to come up with a plan and fast. That's the first time they've seen it. Just look at him. Like, look at the position that is. Even with X-Ray here. Like, I don't understand how you're going to be able to clear that with all the other angles in play. 
Like you already have to worry about like Orpers re-picking the flashing, the jumping for the jiggle peek behind the sandbags. Somebody else could swing from below him. They have God, to have like a two-man stack Leos. going on. He's like trying. KKS is not going to know. There's no way. Look, his feet are first. There's nothing you can do about this. Well, I guess they know about it now. But yeah, how do you deal with that? I mean, the, the, the fact that you can actually face <laughs> ramp with it too but is mad. Now they don't even have to run it again. And the reason I say they don't have to run it, like I'm sure they will, but they don't have to because the fear, fear of God, the fear of God is in them from this position now. Like the thieves had already used two timeouts before this and we were only eight rounds into play. I feel like they need a timeout just to discuss because now you have to think on your toes. How are we going to solve this problem? Bloody hell, this is something else. I don't even know how they're getting look up there. Look, look at that smile. They know what they've done. Look at it. <laughs> so cheeky. Oh, I love innovation. And yeah, that is going to put the fear of God in these boys because suddenly you've got something new to worry about. And you're right. Yuri doesn't have to go back there. He's already set enough of an example. Yeah. That that's a possibility. So when you clear up now, you can't come up this way. No, they can't go up scaff at all. They they're going to have to go wide. As a spammed and tagged, he's He doesn't even know out. if he's died to it again. Oh, boy. Okay. Puzzle solving on the fly in a grand final where you start one map down. If the task wasn't already hard for the Thieves, it's just about to get a lot more difficult. This was their map choice. You don't want to get rattled here. Imagine if the scoreline ends up to be 10-5, 11-4. Okay. Well, let's see how they bounce back. Australian fans. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> and, and again, if you guys are wondering um, what happened on Mirage, obviously it's the map advantage, right? Best of five final, upper bracket, lower bracket. Team that stayed in the upper bracket does come in with the map advantage. That was, you know, quote unquote, Mirage's result. Now, this is interesting. I wonder if they go for an early fight on this. Is it oh, oh, it's having none of it. Now you get the aggression. There's so much to be worried about. You've got Yuri on the other side. Art in between, but he's fallen. Jacob's up for the fight. They need a bit more though. They're trying to maybe deal with this, this stack early on. Maybe they can theory how you boost up there. And it does mean you need early pressure towards that area. But now they want to head back towards B. And if they head over towards this side of the map, you've got Caserado tucked on in still with the Molotov, a flash and a HE to do damage. And look at Vinny on the flank. Oh, whoa, this game is going to spiral out of control if they all die in the back here. This is so quick from Vinny. He wants an absolute meal, and he's going to get it. Three <laughs> quick headshots from Vinny. Will he find Azza? No, he responds eventually, but to be taken down by the B presence. Furia, they are coming out with a bit of a bite here today. God, Furia have just taken this game, right? All the pace, all the mind games, they are living rent-free in 100 Thieves' heads. They have no idea what they're going to come up against now. You try and deal with that ramp play while you've also been playing up against the team that's mopped up NA, basically. So it's like, how are you meant to deal with so many new factors all at the same time? I want to know how long they've had this boost in the back pocket for. I just want to know, like, how long have they been sitting on this? Have they saved it for this occasion? Have they saved it to pull out, especially for a final? Or is this something they literally just found yesterday and they went, hey, we're going to run it. Got boys. <laughs> There's wild stuff here today. Henny has that AWP up, finally. And this is what I was alluding to earlier. This is the normal hold that I was expecting to see from Furia. When they get the double AWP up on Art as well, Henny will AWP down ramp and you'll have Art go over towards scaffolding. And there are two pronged AWP attack just down this ramp. It's so difficult to deal with. If you swing past Henny, then you have to deal with Art and vice versa. So just being milked today. Leaz finally gets a kill. But... Oh, make that two. The Tech Knight at range, Lauren. He's, he's a bit of a gamer with this gun. We saw it on Mirage when he bounded in towards A. Caserato, awkward angle, but still makes it look comfortable somehow. Nice nade. Well, he has got to be a bit cautious now. He did have that recovered M4 after his fight towards middle. Caserato sharp today, boys. This is a tough one for the Thieves. I think this yeah. has only gone a lot tougher. And they managed to get the f uh, four out of the first five rounds. That came off the back of the pistol, the conversion against the Force, then they lost to a bit of uh, uh, a conversion against the Eco, then they lost to the early Bio Fury, then they bounced back with a Force of their own. And then now they're off. They've managed to get a total of six rounds on the trot here. Good to see everybody joining the fan cams here today. So no warp out for Grat. Double warp out now for Furia. Henny picking on over the top, making sure that scaff position can't be taken early. And there it is, finding Azza using their own smokes against them. Yuri now putting damage down. Smokes to delay. No boost is going to be in play. You can see they're not going back to doing it because like we said, the fear of God is in them now. They don't have to. 
All right, Jacob, let's see what you've got here. Oh! <sighs> he had a second to hit that, but Henny just coming out of the flash a little bit too quick for him. Henny now looks for another. No, Liaz! Finds a way through. Now Yuri's a little isolated on the site. He does have support near, but not that near. Still, though, Yuri's doing work. Picking up Liaz, going to cut this attack off, looking a little less dangerous, but flags could be huge. That's nice from JKS. Doesn't expect the second. Actually, jump peaks for you. That's so smart. Gratisfaction oh, no, given an opportunity. It is the 1v1. He's got the bomb, but look at Vinny. He's pushing on this one. The confidence is flowing for the Brazilian oh. side. Eight rounds now on the board. Wow, the flanks from Furia, like you never really see them. Well, you definitely see flanks come in on a map like Vertigo, but they normally get locked out because coming through that choke point, maybe you have one player down there towards Fork Room. I suppose the fact that Furia are getting two opening kills on Henny's AWP means the Thieves don't have enough players to manage all of those angles. JKS almost did enough to mop that one up. And then being left in the one-on-one, -on -one, Grat not sure where the last member was, walking into the den. Finney takes him down, the gun's back out. Lost bonus maxed on through for the Thieves. That's 3,400 time and time again, but they need to start getting some plants. Take a look at how the last seven rounds have gone now. No bomb plants for the Thieves. Setting up towards B, there's two to deal with. Look, Fury have played them like a fiddle. Yeah, this, this feels like... Those malleable players that Rush loves so much are currently being Ooh. manipulated. That's not bad, though, but in some trade. Case okay, Rollo's got to be careful. They're trying to flex off the back of this. Bit of utility committed now to try and hinder the hit, but the T's are up. They've taken some space, and Azza's leading by example. Straight the way through towards the site. Not bad. This Whoa. is excellent from Azza. There's the man we saw yesterday looking formidable. And Henny's locked out. I mean, he can. he's on 7K. Do it, you fancy. You're almost at full money, but... Most clutches so far within the Pro League. Not sure this is one that he's got on the docket <laughs> for today. If he pulls something like this off, I would be absolutely blown away. They've been able to get the bomb down. They've been able to find some good trades. That was gratisfaction on the opening kill. And then Azza really taking the round by the balls, just pushing on in. You could see the flashes from his teammates coming on over the top. Being able to get two is massive work and a fifth round on the board for the Thieves. Much needed. Now, both of these squads, I came in today thinking limiting the T sides, that is the factor. The CT sides, you know, they both have had some average showings. I was looking through all of their maps. It seems like for the majority of their maps, they've won a lot of rounds through their T halves. And Furia, well, they've already won the half here. This is Azza with the double kill. Behind the smoke goes down K Serato. Finding the second kill. So Azza doing a great job here. This little transfer of the spray. Had the flash assist and the regular assist, and you've got uh, Mac in the top there. He's going to be firing everybody up. Everyone from Australia staying up until uh, the early hours of the morning. As we can bring you the scores so far, Yuri with 13, 11 for Henny, 10 apiece for Vinny and Caserato, Art with eight. So everybody firing for Fury on the Thieves side of things. Still, people are fragging, they need to be, but it's middle of the pack. No one yet to reach double digits. Eight for Liaz, seven for three members on the team. That's JKS, Gratisfaction, and Jacob, and then Azza with only six. So it's not like anybody's lagging behind. Considering the scoreline, eight to five, considering what we've seen with this boost coming early, this game is already delivering. We get back underway with the rifles out. Double orbs once more. Serato dropping on down in danger. Liaz with another opening. Big bailout. That could have been so dangerous, especially with Art in combination. That could have been massive, but they have been able to kind of deal with this initial aggression. And the pace off the back of Azza last time really, really helped them out. But taking a second to pause here as they clear the way through. Yuri's pushed up this time. And Molly's hurting. He's going to have to back away. He takes Jacob with him. And there's Henny. This ramp's under lock and key. Luckily for the Thieves, they have shown some ability over towards the other side of things. But you still have Art on patrol here. Oh, JKS. Needed that to come in. Art's oh, not moving away too much. He's up for this fight. This oh. is mad. He's just going to take the shot up close and personal. Gets another double dips. Sticks around for the third. Flash comes in. There goes JKS. Okay. Watch, man. Any though, not going to let it happen. All right. Well, there was an opportunity there. Felt like a winnable round, but Henny closes it down very, very quickly. Double ops will be saved. Yuri's picked up that one to throw it back in Art's hands. And yeah, this is. Uh, this is odd stuff to see here, and this is Art. This is Art in a nutshell. He doesn't shy away. Art's not afraid. If anybody in the Counter-Strike world is going to back on out, it's not him. <laughs> Nine on the board. Grant will have an AWP going into the last Ooh, round of play. Up, yeah. 
Still with that double op set up on the Furious side of things. And it feels like Thieves have had to give up on that A approach, that boost. It's played a bit of a, a problem and it was only used successfully once. You haven't seen them go for it again and they haven't needed to. It's quelled the Ooh, Thieves. Are they going for it now? Oh, they are going for it now, okay. Henny's not used to doing the boost. Like, Henny, stand here. And they, oh. So there's got to be a bit of a method to getting on there. I'm Ooh. sure Rush, our movement specialist, can talk us through this at one point. I'm sure he'll be trying this on the break. What do you think they were fumbling there, Rush? You think that Henny was too high on the sandbag? It's definitely tough because there's a triple boost, right? So whoever's on top is going to be sliding. So it's like, it looks like they're kind of doing a surf on the head onto the little lip. Yeah, you know, the strafe of them, like the mouse movement almost looks like he's trying to get that nice smooth momentum. Yeah, but that's what We'll it looks come like back to that. Me. Rush, I want, you know, a full clip breakdown. Full breakdown. Yeah, Rush, the movement got out there. You should see the man surf. He's got some moves. Oh, though. Oh, almost got the two. What? Almost got the two. For how did none of them die? They still stand, but Caserado's on it. He knows they're weakened, but they're still trying to make this hit count. 47 seconds. The smoke's still oh, up. Jacob, he succeeds with Lias, with JKS. They're still doing the work. Vinny's quick, though. He's not going to let this one slip. Damage a plenty. And kills falling in. Yuri now chasing it down. The passion, the aggression, it's all there. They don't even know they've done it. It's over. You got it, boys. 10 5 on the half <sighs> for Fury here. We're seeing some groundbreaking vertigo play coming out of the Brazilians. Let's see if they can clean it up in the second half. Stick around.
wouldn't be a grand finals without something a little different, and that has certainly made us smile. But the Australian fans and the boys in the server, it's going to be a little bit of a tougher scenario to overcome now. We've seen the Fury had more up the sleeve. They brought it out, and it worked wonders. There is a second half to be played, however. Fury is still have to get across that finish line on this map. And the Thieves have room here. Yeah, this is some wild stuff here this evening. Now, Thieves starting one map down as they came through the lower bracket. Fury securing themselves the upper bracket slot by taking down EG in spectacular fashion just the other day. But let's get this one underway here. Lots of utility coming in from Fury. Gratis Faction actually tucked on in. He'll be baited for by Jacob on top of the construction position. And versus the pistols, it's not so bad. Molotov from Quesarado about to come out. Oh, it's deep. Okay. Here's Gratis Faction, a bit of room to work. Fury's on it, nice and quick. Dink towards JKS. Suddenly, Jacob's in a whole world of trouble. He knows it too, but no one pulled over the top. JKS oh, still down. manages one. That's impressive. And the bomb does fall slightly towards our CT side. Quickly picked up by the T's, however. Jacob looking to nutmeg. Probably just heard and seen enough now to know that, hey, it ain't over here. As I get back to the site. So difficult. 3v2 to win for the Thieves. Have to deal with Henny. But if Azza wins this, big jewel. And that's a big frag. So just one to find. Kit on Liaz. Henny's clutch prowess. It's been something phenomenal. But against these pistols, with that low HP, it doesn't seem likely. See what the timing's like. Yeah, Jacob seems all too aware of the possibility. Nicely handled. Very, very cognitive of all the problems that could have occurred. And is that a second pistol now for the Thieves? Yeah, now, look, they were able to convert against the eco of Fury a first time round, but I think we'll see a force by coming on through with that plant. The AKs are being dropped across. Art's been gifted one. Quesarado looks like he's going to have another. Yuri's been able to bring one into this round as well. It'll just be Vinny and Henny on Deagles. This is actually a scary looking round. Note that Quesarado doesn't have head armor, could not afford that as well as the AK purchase. But it's three AK-47s, the most potent weapons in this round, up against three Famuses, a UMP and an MP9. Early utility damage done to Jacob, so Deagle bullets are even more deadly. Oh, look at that damage with nice. the smoke. That's unconfirmed damage, so Grat won't know how much he's done. They won't know Henny's chunk down either. But Art, ah, look at this. This is the aggression we oh, talk JKS. about. Yes, He had trouble before here, and he might have trouble again. Seems unaware of the timing, and now oh, he's going to be in all kinds of trouble. Art's made this so, so likely now. As to the left, one to the right. Jacob hasn't given away the game just yet, but Vinny seems all too aware this could be a possibility. As is trying to keep his back safe, but timing is everything for Jacob. He could do so well, but Vinny, Henny, they're Yuri, looking. they're so aware of the possibility. Meticulous in approach as Lee has now your last man alive. Damage on Yuri, sure. Nade goes astray, and he's locked got nothing in. to do. Yeah, and he might be locked in here. Quesarado's taken away the B-save potential. Lia's still fighting. Lots of damage done, but look at this. Straight into the hands of Quesarado. He's heard the jump. He can tuck on in. Lia's seeing how much damage he can do. There are very, very low players left in the server for round number 17. It feels like it's only a matter of time until Quesarado comes and lofts off his head from behind. Just containing this, making sure he can't get away with the save. Lia's knows that there is the potential for the Lurk. You can see that by holding down Walk, not making any more sound cues, also staying in plain sight, as it were. We'll go towards the bomb to save, and that's the right play. So Leah's holding on to the Famous. Means that we might see another Force by coming through from the Thieves. But this was it. JKS just out of position. They weren't ready for this level of aggression, and there's good reason for that. Note how far Art is forward on his own with one of these AKs. The trade potential is not there. Yuri actually had to start running to, to give that up, and... Yeah, that's frustrating. That's very frustrating because you wouldn't be expecting that level of uh, audacious play coming out so quick, but it is Furia. And one of the win factors was containing Art. Well, they failed on the first weapon round. Get back underway with round 18. Grout's taken mid and ladder control. That's a good bit of information early, but it looks like Furia are just heading over towards A. Already peering in towards the A site, grabbing that bomb. They will be quick on. Smoke comes in, Jacob falls, and that should be the round. They know JKS likes to play this short position to help out scaffolding. Grad's found one, but it's going to be easy to deal with that. The bomb's coming through on Henny. More kills falling in the favor of Furia here, and here's JKS ready to swing. Timing's everything. Damage gets done, but no kill comes through. A little unfortunate art still stands. Bomb now planted. These last two have, have not many nice options. 
Yeah, it might just be the famous save here. Not even the best weapons to be holding on to, really, but the best of a bad bunch is, well, now 12 rounds on the board for Furia. The force buy in the previous means that the Thieves will have to go for either another force or a save. Gratisfaction can drop across his Deagle, which means they'll have three potent weapons going into the following round, and if they can wield those well with the smokes and light utility they have left, well, there's a chance for damage, maybe a chance to steal away some of these AK-47s, but it is likely that Furia get away with 12th round, which is going to be put on the board any second now. Bomb's going to go off, and then the 13th should be a little bit easier to deal with as well. So the Thieves are in a hole. Currently six-round deficit, most likely going to be seven. You can see they only have that $1,900 loss bonus going into this round. Next round will be the 2400 It has to be the save. There's no other way around it. JKS gets the Deagle. Grant and Azza hold on to the Famuses. They have smokes to work with. That could potentially play in Jacob and Liaz with the flashes on Grat as well. There was a very direct approach from Furia in the last round. Basically just walking up that A side of things, not worrying about the short and scaffolding positions, just taking the jewels, using the AK-47s to their advantage. As is about to be molotov out here, can smoke himself, and that's going to be good. So flash from Grat. Oh, the double nades, look at this. 9 HP, and there he goes. So triple HEs, they had all the utility they needed, and this round is done and dusted. That's the two Famuses taken out. Jacob's done well to find one, immediately traded, and unless JKS wants to have an absolute banger of a deagle moment here, Round 19 should come to its logical conclusion. And there it is. So Liaz gets the Famous. That's going to be a bad hit. Through the smoke they go. Henny's going to find him on the flank. And this is where the game needs to begin for the Thieves. Guns having to come on out here. Jacob, 4,600. So it's enough for an okay-ish buy. And this is Azza. Look, please don't have any more nades, please. Oh, yikes. So... So this is looking clean and easy right now for Furia. This is the map choice of 100 Thieves. The next is Inferno. They've had some mixed results in their last few showings, these two teams. When they played over at ESL 1 Cologne on Inferno, Furia battered them 16 to 1. And then they played a little bit earlier in the year at a DreamHack event where the Thieves were able to smash Furia 16 to 4. So you just have to consider those matches. I do believe that the big sides came on the CT side. So in that first matchup, I was referencing Fury had the CT start. In the DreamHack match, I was referencing the Thieves had the CT start. Well, in this game today, the Thieves will have that CT side. So let's keep that in mind. Maybe this one isn't done just yet. It's, it's got to start soon. And I think 100 Thieves know that. It would be the reverse sweep. I guess at this point, yeah. If no, te technically, yeah. It, it could, it it could happen. It, it's very unlikely. Again, when we talk about lower bracket runs, we do talk about the the chance of it because we're you know not idiots, and it, it is a tough one. There's no two ways about it. JKS, good damage can be done there. Lovely. Oh, down to half. More he comes in, forced away. A bit of help on the flash. That could be great. Oh my god. Oh, fully blind. But Jacob's there to stop this. But now he's feeling a little alone. He's got Gratisfaction by his side. Everyone piles in. Everyone helps out. The thieves hold for now. Caserato unable to get there and do much with this bomb now left into the clutches of the CT side. As they try and re-aggress towards ramp. That's isolated. Yeah. Has has been picked up for free. And damage is the name of the game right here. He gets the bomb for free. If he finds another kill, he's done the magic rule of three, limiting the CTs from keeping enough players alive to drop comfortably. And Caserato can win this. Look at all the time on the clock. 40 seconds left, bomb in hand. AK-47, Nade's going to do a good bit of damage. Look at that, 34. That's a big kill as well. Uh, Lauren, it's this one's... not taking any damage, Chad. Yeah, this one's going to fall apart for the Thieves. I've got a feeling. Oh, Christ, okay. Uh, Caserato's just got three kills. This was not meant to happen. Thank God Liaz is there. How the hell did he isolate that many jewels? Uh, they were given to him. They were definitely given to him. The first uh, kill from Azza there, trying to take too much space on his lonesome. And then you could just see the damage he was able to pull off from that angle towards the headshot boost box in the site. Yeah, one by one they go, one by one they fall. Liaz will add another 1vx situation to his tally for the season. And the buy, well, it's not looking great for the Thieves. Famous is again. MP9 for Azza. JKS being given. 
An AK-47 from Liaz, so he needs to find some impact with that. He's been isolated twice now over towards this same position. Art's got the better of him. Yeah, again, quick. It's good initial damage on Jacob, but he just backs away. Ram control slowly being garnered by the T side. They're all here as well. They can just go for a five man execute onto the site. Yeah, but they're re-aggressing towards Ram. Jacob, I think JKS is by his side. Actually, all three are here. They're going to try and play this one back through. This is a little bit dangerous, but sometimes I guess you've got to beat fire with fire, and it is a deadly game for a very good reason. These boys are more than up for it. Fury up win the ramp fight, but they took a lot of damage for it. Yeah, I'm not sure what the Thieves thought was going to happen there. That scaffolding swing is going to happen every day of the week, so unable to convert the kills. As is going to do his best. He falls. Now it's just Liaz, who was the hero in the last round, but that was a 1v1. There was a 1v4. I don't know if he's going to win the... <laughs> yeah, okay. Liaz should save. It's going to be 14 rounds on the board for Fury here. They walk away with very low HP, but they still walk away. Doesn't matter if you're uh, on a stretcher, Lauren, or if you're on two feet. <laughs> the round still counts. We will get a bit of a freebie there. Can upgrade to that AK-47 if you would like. But look at this. You can see with X-Ray, they can uh, note the position of Liaz and start their hunt if they want to. They all started to move, and then they all stopped. So obviously, keeping these weapons is more important for the Furious side of things as... We move forward. They're only two rounds away now from hitting themselves technically map number two because they already come into this grand final with one map under their belt. And if you want to question that, let me quickly uh, summarize it for you. They've come through the upper bracket. They came within the top two seeds of the regular season where we had eight teams battle out over three weeks in best of threes. And with that seed and with that placing in the groups, they earned themselves an upper bracket run. He destroyed EG and now find themselves in the final against the Thieves. One map up, about to be two, as the save from the Thieves will come through. They'll be fighting from 15 7 down. Grab's faction, fully aware. Now the P9 is out. Yep. Art and Fault hold W mode. <laughs> Does lose his life, but they're on the site for now. No dink on Vinny. Things getting interesting, but no huge threats just yet. That rifle comes in and does something, then we start paying a little bit more attention. Looks like Liaz did find Caserato, so we are looking a little bit more deadly. And yeah, they've had to think twice about maybe keeping that bombers forward. Is it Jacob? How did he just get that kill? I really do not know. Henny's starting to play aimbots by himself, just tapping away, but a 2v3. Liaz still sits pretty with the rifle. That's your, your kind of big game-changing factor, or round-changing factor here. A one minute left on the board, T-side out of utility. Liaz, a little bit of info towards ramp, but it does take a little bit of damage for it too. Oh, no man's land's found. Yuri's exploited it. It's the USPs now. That's it, that's all they've got left. As they're on the swing, tag comes out. This should be cleaned up though. Tim did recover the rifle in the meantime though, so. Nah, didn't quite get as clean as he wanted on that spray. Not an easy one either. Keep in mind that was fairly far and zero armor for him to play with as well. Yeah, felt dangerous for a moment there. But as soon as Liaz goes down, that's the firepower taken out of the round. And well, very well handled, I would say, from the Furious side of things. Yuri, he's having a great game. 22 for him and then Henny at 18. So everybody firing on the side of things for Fury. And they're going to take a timeout. Just need one more round. So there's no rush. And it's good that they're actually being poised in this situation. You don't want to give 100 Thieves an opportunity to get back into the game. If you can beat them here, beat them now, beat them with this kind of a scoreline, going into Inferno next, continue this momentum. We saw exactly what Furia did just the other day against EG on Inferno. Art's running up mid to Art side, killing three players. You're pushing up Banana. You've got Vinny bringing out an AWP, close CT spawn while they're holding down three on five B retakes. Fury got something special when we get over to Inferno. And the Thieves, they need to wake up. It'll be the quickest final we've had in a while. You do love a quick final. No. I want a good game from the Thieves. I can't remember the last grand final I did that delivered. Maybe I'm the bad luck champ. No, it is all finals. It's just how tournaments go. Don't worry about it. But it's not over yet, Chad. Head up. Feels like it's over. Nobody's no, on the Chad. Uh, Liaz is the only player on B. This uh, might, map might be over. Chad. Uh, Lauren, I think this round's over. 
What do you mean? Hello. It's a, a P90. It's, He's in there, spawn, Lauren, side. at one minute and 30. Mm. One minute, 30 seconds, and Art has already infiltrated their base. <laughs> if we're doing capture the flag, they've won. Yeah, but look where the bomb is. That could be an issue. Oh, okay, look. Come on, look. Fine margins. Pay me I'm a holding picture, on. Lauren. Pay me a picture. I believe the grass faction at least gets gets one here. It's gonna get one, and then oh, oh no, not like no, 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 no. Okay, well, I didn't expect them to play through the smoke, but I guess they get a one for one trade out. As a, oh, that's good information on towards B. Jacob's keeping control of the bomb. It's just whether or not he finds another, gets that timing right, plays it just so well. The timing <laughs> was almost there. Caserado takes him down. Now 1v2. The captain that we've been looking at, the man whose influence has been on the swing, now has to do something pretty impressive. Caserato is low. Doesn't have the bomb, so it, there, there is a chance. But he's head. being played like a book. Oh, like, not like a book, read like a book and played like a fiddle. That one's all but over. Furia absolutely stamping authority on map number one. Australian fans, 100 Thieves, look at map number two. It's the only road to redemption.